Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on Minecraft 1.19 on the Demiurge server. Today I'm going to work on a bamboo farm for the purpose of fuel. It is based on a sugarcane farm made by Impulse SV. I will put a link in the description. So let's get started. I've prepared an area for this build, gathering resources. This is the middle block, and we the area is five blocks deep and 12 blocks in either direction, making for a total of 25. Over here I have all of the items that we'll need to build one level of this farm, and I've included them all here so that you can see what it takes to build the one level. I'm going to start with the double chests that I'm going to use for storage of the bamboo that is grown. I'm just going to place it right here on the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the hoppers and connect them on up. Place them down the entire line so that I can collect the crops as they are harvested. Next I want to put in the glass. I'm going to build this two, level, two levels high for right now. Just bring it all the way down. That's the middle point. Let me mark that as well. I want to keep track of where the middle is. If I counted these correctly, then I wouldn't be making mistakes. But that's two levels of glass. Now I'm going to lay down the sand for this to grow in. It doesn't have to be sand. It can be dirt. It can be dirt covered with grass. And this is what I mean by not counting properly be 12 in each direction and I figured out that the, now it's 12 this way and I need to go to the other end and place the sand so it's 12 in this direction. If you like what you're seeing can you please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I produce additional videos. I am marking the middle with leaves on purpose. Leaves are not pushed by slime blocks and that's a necessary feature. Now I fill in the water. Two buckets of water created a infinite source and then I can use that to fill in the rest. I'm going to close this off. Now I have the water is perfect and not flowing, therefore it makes no noise. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get some bamboo. That is thunder. So, we have that going on outside. Lots of thunder. Now I'll go ahead and plant the bamboo and it will be allowed to interrupt me again with thunder. Next I'm going to put blocks all along this back. This is the first time that I'm building this in survival. First time I've built it at all. So needless to say I did not plan correctly and I need more room. So I'm going to try to go three blocks in one direction and then three blocks in the other. Assuming I can count. And once I have that, I'll dig these out and replace them with the stone, smooth stone blocks. I only have one hopper. I need two. 
Let's go get that. So with two hoppers, I'm now going to build the hopper clock. These two hoppers should be facing into each other. So I'll remove that one, place it down again, facing it into the other. And these are going to have 64 plus 5 items in them. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Now I'm going to take a comparator, come off each end, and then I'm going to place a block next to each comparator so it will power that block. When we're going to start with the pistons, redstone at beside each block, then a piston. Facing this direction, another piston will go here, and again, I will place a block, I seem to have measured this incorrectly, I can't count, so a block followed immediately with the redstone dust, I'm going ahead and fill this back up with stone. And the redstone dust goes right here. And then a block of redstone will go in the middle. And that of course will be placing the block between the two pistons. As it goes back and forth it will power the hopper and prevent it from sending over items. Then we're going to go four blocks where we put redstone powder followed by a full block. And we're actually going to do that on both ends. Four redstone dust and then a full block then redstone dust again and I seem to have I am missing the redstone torches so two redstone torches one here and one corresponding to the other end after the block and again we'll have three redstone blocks redstone powder going into a solid block and on that solid block and once again I had it's four redstone powder and once again I have run out of room there should be a block on the end so I will place a smooth stone block here and then it has a torch on it. A redstone torch which is powered off. And of course I need to do it on both sides. Block that I forgot and the redstone torch which powers off. Now we can attach the pistons to the side of the redstone torch. So when the redstone torch is activated it will activate the piston. And again we do the same thing on both sides. And then we're going to put the slime blocks in. They will go in each side and for 12 blocks which is the maximum push limit for a piston. It will also harvest all of the bamboo. Now there shouldn't be anything besides the slime blocks. Nothing for it to rub against. 
unless it is leaves because leaves cannot be pushed so they won't matter slime blocks on both sides now I'm going to put the items in 64 plus 5 and when it gets to the 64 plus 5 so when it gets to the 69th object the redstone will power and the piston should flip like that and I see two problems on the right side it moved but it left the blocks where they are and this side didn't move or didn't pull back and that was because there was a stone block there but why did it not pull back on the other side well, that should fix that it doesn't work I need two furnaces to help produce reduce lag I'll put them over the hoppers but I don't know why it didn't pull them back I'm gonna have to look at this and see what's wrong I'm gonna place this and then take some time to research what's going on I am back and it needed a pulse extender I lengthened the pulse and now when it fires it moves it and pulls it back now I just have to make the same change on the other side and then we'll test it and here we go let's look and it works now I want to build up okay here's the farm I've added three more levels on top you saw the left side fire off right there so the farm is four levels tall this should produce a decent amount of bamboo the pulse extender was not required in impulses video so I'm not sure why it required it here but there we go saw that fire off one thing I can say is that I realized after the fact if I had added a few items to the hopper clock that would have extended the time and I wouldn't have had to change the redstone powder at all and that would I believe would have fixed the problem but I didn't test it I'm sure people will tell me if I'm right or wrong anyway I have now completed the farm which is something I wanted to do for a while and I believe it's time to go thank you for watching and goodbye